In the field of energy storage, sand batteries and blade batteries represent two distinct technologies with their own applications and advantages. Sand batteries use sand to store thermal energy, mainly for renewable energy applications for homes and industries, with costs three times lower and high temperature resistance up to 600 degrees. In contrast, BYD's blade batteries, designed for electronic devices and electric vehicles, feature a blade design that is different from previous lithium battery designs, improving thermal performance and safety. So, how will the differences between these two types of batteries impact the future of the energy industry? Welcome to Techno Creator. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. First, consider the design. Sand batteries are large in size, in silo or tower form, suitable for large-scale thermal energy storage. The storage system has three main components, a sand silo, an electric air heater, and an air-water heat exchanger. To load sand into the silo, the air is heated in the electric air heater. The hot air is then circulated inside the silo by a heat exchanger and fan to raise the temperature of the sand in the core of the silo to four times higher than the temperature of boiling water, reaching 100 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, the blade battery has a slim and long, compact blade-shaped design, which saves space and is suitable for applications requiring high energy density in small spaces. In contrast to sand batteries, BYD blade batteries use LFP cells as cathode materials because they are very durable, providing a much higher level of safety than conventional lithium-ion batteries. LFP naturally has excellent thermal stability and is essentially cobalt-free and uses CTP technology to optimize space and performance. This structure reduces the number of modules and increases operational efficiency. So, we have the basic information of each type of battery, both of which offer specific benefits depending on the specific needs and purposes of use. How do these two types of batteries perform? Second, about lifespan. Renewable energy storage requires a lot of factors. Let's discuss the life cycle that these two types of batteries will serve us. Which type of battery has a longer life? For sand batteries, the battery system is directly connected to the heating network for buildings and areas in extreme weather and still works well. In contrast, for blade batteries, we are talking about life when it applies to an electric vehicle. Sand batteries have a long life when properly maintained. With regular inspection and maintenance, these systems can provide reliable heat storage and release for many years. Sand batteries are estimated to have a life of up to 10,000 charge cycles, which is a significant advantage, showing the ability to maintain performance for a long time without rapid degradation. For a sustainable and efficient storage method that provides heat for more than 10,000 people in a residential area, sand batteries are a bright candidate that you can consider for your family. Meanwhile, blade batteries for electronic devices or electric vehicle batteries are also of great interest. With more than 3,000 charging cycles expected to increase the lifespan to 5,000 cycles early next year, the BYD Blade battery provides a long enough lifespan for different purposes. Although lower than sand batteries, this lifespan still meets the requirements of most current applications. Of course, both batteries must be fully maintained to control the condition and optimize the efficiency of the battery during use. Sand batteries have the ability to maintain a very stable temperature, only decreasing by 1 to 2 degrees Celsius in a few months of storage after charging thanks to the battery's insulation layer. When charged and discharged 20 to 200 times per year, the system can store 100 megawatt hours of thermal energy from renewable energy sources such as solar and wind, reducing emissions by up to 70%, by removing oil and gas from the heating grid. On the other hand, after about 13 years of use, the efficiency of the blade battery has decreased by about 20%, meaning the battery is still operating at 80% of its original capacity. However, for the life of an electric vehicle, the battery management system will have the task of prolonging the battery's life as long as possible, protecting the battery cells, 
ensuring the amount of electricity entering and leaving the battery to increase the battery's lifespan. The Blade battery is also considered a strong candidate in terms of longevity among current lithium batteries, but has not surpassed the sand battery. Third, about price. Sand batteries use natural and cheap materials. The price of sand in the US is currently $50 for 2,000 pounds. Cheap raw materials, of course, the production cost is also cheap. Sand batteries are expected to cost less than $40 per cell of the same size. However, the price of a blade cell ranges from $55 to $60 per watt per kilogram, with more expensive materials than sand or silicon in sand batteries, higher than the price of sand batteries. BYD is also carrying out campaigns to reduce the price of batteries by 20%, with the aim of reducing the cost of electric vehicles to increase competitiveness with other battery and electric vehicle manufacturers. Sand batteries provide heating energy at a reasonable cost. Cheaper than using electric or gas heating, households will save a lot of money when switching to heating systems using this technology. In contrast, Blade batteries are widely used in electronic devices from phones, computers, to electric vehicles. Although the price of blade batteries may decrease in the lithium battery segment, it is still higher than that of sand batteries. This makes blade batteries more suitable for applications that require high efficiency and large capacity. Fourth, energy density. When it was first introduced in 2020, the energy density of the blade battery was 140 watt hours per kilogram and is now at 150 watt hours per kilogram. The new blade battery is expected to reach 190 watt hours per kilogram. But after all, blade batteries are still lower than the thermal energy density of sand batteries, which is estimated to be 355 watt hours per kilogram when converted. In particular, sand batteries can achieve high energy density thanks to the use of silicon as the main material. And theoretically, the density is 10 times higher than graphite. According to claims dating back to the launch of the Blade battery model in 2020, the space utilization of the battery pack has increased by more than 50% compared to conventional lithium iron phosphate block batteries due to the optimized battery pack structure. Therefore, the upcoming second generation is expected to be more compact and help reduce power consumption per 100 kilometers traveled while maintaining good energy density for electric vehicles. What do you think about these two batteries? What do you think about owning a product related to these batteries? We would be happy if you leave comments about this. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you do, Please press the like button and join our channel by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy.